Wait, I'm like hitting this tree and it's hitting the one in the back. You see it? Damn, the power that I have. That's kind of cool. <laughs> you definitely need to make it though that you can hit these trees and get the wood for it. But I think that'd be nice instead of having to run around the entire map. But I, guess, I can see why they wouldn't do that at the same time. We have the Serena Teapot. The gadget, you place it down, interact with it to gain access to your realm. And you are able to select three different realm layouts. Floating Abode, Emerald Peak, Cool Isle. You cannot switch over to the other ones yet until you increase your trust rank. So currently I'm on Floating Abode. Speak over to Tubby, your assistant. And you click on Trust Rank. You can see what your trust rank is and what bonuses you get for every trust rank. So you start at 1. You unlock Exterior Area 1, for example, right here. Um, realm Currency Storage increased and stuff like that. Right now, I'm on three, so the next one, I'll have my currency increased to 1,200, which is your cap on how much you can obtain. So, like, resin, where it's 160, this is your realm currency. So, you can have a total of a 1,200 total before it's capped, and you won't gain any more. Uh, max furnishing creation queue, so you can create more furnishings. Uh, teapot transformation, which I don't know what that does yet. And then goods being upgraded, and all the other stuff. You can check the other details. Exterior number two, max furnishing queue upgraded. And then you get all these other rewards and primo gems. And if you go down here, this is how you collect your stuff, your jar of riches. So make sure that's not capped right now. My max is 900 and I get 16 per hour. Clicking on this little exclamation point will allow you to see how many you'll be accumulating and how much adeptal energy needed or how much uh, adeptal energy you need in order to get more realm currency every hour. So I'm on queen size right now. I believe a few people are also on Elegant, so 6,000. And to increase this, all you have to do is put Furnishings down and Sets, and it'll tell you how much the set uh, will give you in terms of Adeptal Energy. And then on the other tab, if we go over here, the Energy Overflow, it tells you how much you have inside the house, outside, you combine those, and then you have the other islands that we have not unlocked yet. So that'll come, uh, I'm assuming once we unlock our, or increase our trust rank, we'll be able to add other furnishings around on different little islands. Also, and to increase your trust rank, we're at 870 out of 1,000. To increase your trust rank, talk to Tubby. Go to create furnishing. Every time you create a new acquired furnishing, it'll get you the currency or the trust rank XP, and you can see it at the top. It'll be tagged with this little icon in the top right as you can see i've already crafted all of the acquired furnishings that i have i have no new ones this is the only one that i have left and i currently have it on the creation queue which will take another five hours down below it'll tell you speed up time remaining four hours if you have a friend join up on your world and interact with it i haven't actually done it myself so i don't know what it looks like they can go and speed it up for you only one time four hours each so it says zero seconds right there. This is normally, this is supposed to take like 16 hours, but a friend joined up and they were, they were able to decrease the time uh, by four hours. So definitely have a friend join up and do that if you need. Uh, if you don't want to wait, because early on I wanted to speed run and try and increase my adeptal energy, uh, you have these vials, vials of adeptal speed, which will instantly craft it for you and you don't have to wait the 14, 12 hours or whatever. So I do highly recommend doing that and at least doing that early on just so you can increase your adeptal energy around the map, create more furnishing and get your trust rank up so you're able to acquire more realm currency every hour. So try and do that early on is my advice. You can also, you, you get those adeptal vials by increasing your trust rank and you also can get it by purchase, purchasing it from the realm depot. Which I believe is at furnishings. So the second tab on the left, you can get five. And mine will refresh in 12 hours from now. So I can buy another five after the refresh. These are one time buys. So it's not really important if you want to buy them immediately. Uh, but eventually, you probably do want to buy all these out just to get that XP up for the realm or trust rank. And you unfortunately can't buy the transient resin and the other stuff until you get rank eight and six. Fabric, you can purchase up to 50. However, you can also craft fabric. So if we go back to the crafting screen, this little tab in the top right, you can craft and make fabric. It costs silk flowers, and if you wanted to try and find an alternative material to craft it, you click on this button. 
Unfortunately, we have nothing. Only silk flowers will make the fabric. So stock up on that. Red dye is a little different. You can use sunsetias, carrots, and valberries. Yellow dye is just berries and coralapis. I would advise berries. Easy to obtain. And the blue dye is mint and wolf hook. If you didn't know about the dyes, there you go. Okay, so we have a handbook, a realm handbook, quote unquote, up here at the top of the screen. Different little rounds, I guess you can go with, give, which gives you blueprints that you can craft. Right here, we have the cap for round one and 11 challenges. Very simple, straightforward. If you guys have, uh, if you guys are familiar with this from the Adventurer's Handbook, it'll tell you the missions that you have to do in order to get your rewards down here and uh, so on and so forth. Okay, and now I want to show you two different locations to buy out different furnishings for the realm. There is one NPC vendor in Mondstadt, right south of the uh, Favonius headquarters. We're going to talk to Goth over here. There are one-time buy, and they do cost a lot of Mora, 50,000, as you can tell. So, four recipes from Goth at Mondstadt. All right, and the second NPC is over in Liyue at Chinksa Village, right down here. We talk to Master Lu, the carpenter, and he will have, I believe, three, three blueprints, all at 50,000 Amora each, one-time buys, and that'll definitely help your trust rank as well. Also, for anyone having difficulties trying to find out where uh, a specific type of wood is, if you go to the archive, go to tutorials, and go to the fourth tab at the very bottom, collecting wood. It'll let you know where every single type of tree is. Birch tree. We have, uh, how do you say that? Suhua tree. We have pine, sand bearer, chinksa bamboo, cedar, and uh, fir. So, different little locations right here. There's also this wood farming guide that was made. A nice infographic. Um, credits to this guy. All the locations to find it and I will have this down in the description as well as on my discord server for the resource section for uh, for anyone who needs it the only thing I would say is just to let you know on how much adeptal energy you're, you'll get per furniture furnishing you can see in the bottom left when you're trying to craft it this uh, little tent will give 60 there's also outdoor sets if you're not the most creative type and want the game to design something um, for you. As for the house, we have different rooms which you can change in the top left. Main hall, southeast side inner room, um, south side, north side, the corridor, stuff like that. And again, you can see the adeptal energy in the bottom left for the furnishings. You have the same indoor set if you're not the most creative, like myself. And if you just want to try and put something down for now, you don't have to worry about making it look nice. I literally just put things down just to get my adeptal energy up there for the time being so I can start stocking up on realm currency, which is what I would advise as well. So definitely try and take advantage of just putting some random stuff down. Whether you throw it in the corner, you can always go back and make it look nice after. As far as I know, sets do not give more adeptal energy. This one is 60 right here. We go over to the landscape, put another 60, that's 120. Go, I think this was it, right? Another 60. 180 and then 30 on that will be 210 the outdoor set for all of that that i just put down is also 210 the two-tier vendors booth the vase the dazzling delights and the kaleidoscope all of those that i just put down was also 210 if you add them up individually so it's up to you to decide if you want to put it down as a set that's nicely done for you by mihoyo or if you want to just put it randomly around the map, like me, just to stock up on that adeptal energy for the time being. I think I already mentioned about the Realm Depot that every Friday to Monday, there will be a traveling salesman that will be visiting your realm, bringing precious wares and rare treasures. So you want to make sure you talk to him and buy those. And then every Saturday to Monday, you will be able to visit other people's realms in order to talk to the, uh, the salesman and find any desired items as well. So kind of like Animal Crossing, I guess. All right, and that was basically everything that at least I know for the teapot. If I did end up missing anything, please let me know down below in the comments section. And if you did end up enjoying this video or found it informative or helpful, 
please give it a thumbs up. It does help with the YouTube algorithm in terms of showing this video to other people. And if you guys made it to the end of the video, consider subscribing as well. Apparently 64.4% of you guys are not subscribed. But that was it. I thank you all very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.